Are you ready to play with the dreidel? Did you know there are four sides to a dreidel and each side has its own meaning? My name is Sue and I will explain the symbols in this video as I make a Hanukkah card. We can use our own hands to create this card with no stamps or special dies, which is always fun to do. So for today's video, I want to make a Hanukkah card. Thought I'd be a little bit different and try to make dreidels. So this white piece of cardstock has actually been cut down to four by five and a quarter. That way I can have the math work out the best way. I'll have the four dreidels evenly spaced and then I'll put a title up on top and maybe something on the bottom. I wanted to try something different than the standard menorah and Star of David's and do something different and try my hand, use my own hands because uh, for me, since I lost my job in 2023, I can't go out and buy every stamp that's out there and search for the one stamp. So I had to kind of be creative with this and use my own hand and a ruler back to the basics. I'm going to first of all use a pencil to kind of outline and get my measurements right. Then I will go ahead and outline it again with the multi-liner Copic because I will probably color this in alcohol markers and this is the best one for that eyeballing where I want my header to be. Just put a light pencil on that. Just, I'll go ahead and erase it afterwards. So in order to get this to work, I need three eighths to be coming in, three eighths on each side. Then I'm going to have the dreidels will be three quarters wide. There'll be four of those. And then there'll be half inch in between each one. For each beginning, I'm going to do three eighths on the side. So I need two of those. One, two, three. There we go. So that's going to be the first one. And then on this side, one, two, three, I know I have to end over there. So from here, I'm going to do a three quarter inch line. Oops, hang on to the pencil. Three quarters. Then I'm going to have a half inch between it. And then I'm going to do another three quarter. Then I'm going to do a half inch space which will be here and do another three quarters then do another half inch space and do another three quarters and look at that it lines up perfectly so the center line on this is three eighths inch so i need to put on these yeah three eighths is the center of a quarter one two three so that's my center of my dreidel one two three one, two, three. Never knew the card would have so much math in it. One, two, three. But it's fun math. One, two, three. So that's important to just know the centers. We won't be marking those with the Copic, but that's when we go down, that's what we want to do. So then for the sides, we're going to go down three quarters. So it looks like a square on each side. The whole dreidel is going to be one and a quarter inch long, and I want that from the center line, so one and a quarter. So I'm just going to put a little mark right there from that center line. One and a quarter. One and a quarter. One and a quarter. Also show a, like a circle between the back of the dreidel. And I happen to have an old wood one that I've had for years. And again, I'm drawing this angle here, and then this angle here will be the point. So I just want to draw a U shape, and this is just going to be a freehand, just like that. They're not even, they're not perfect, they're just circles. Then from here, this is my center point. I don't want to have a direct line because I didn't want it to look like a pencil. So we're just going to come down here and kind of go right to there with a little bit of a circle. Doesn't look like anything yet, but it will. Go 
And then for the tops, you're just going to freehand a little top over the center line. So I hope you're starting to see the concept of the dreidel. So these symbols are the alphabet letters in the Hebrew alphabet. So N, G, H, and S. For none, it's just a very basic letter. And it's just, I give it a little bit of character, just a little flow. That's it. It's just a representation. It's nothing fancy. It's just the nun. Then the shin is just a W that's gone a little wonky. Very easy. It's just a W. The hay is just, again, very wonky. You can do it any style you want. And then the last one is gimel, which is very close to the nun. It's just the same format, but it's got a foot. That's it. Those are the four letters that are on the dreidel. So I hope you're able to follow along for this. Again, it's three quarter, three quarter on these side, on each side. One and a quarter all the way to the bottom. One and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a quarter. Three eighths is the center point that you're meeting down at the bottom. And then you can either point these in or you can curve them, whichever you'd like to do and then curve that. I think when I use my pen to go over the lines, I'll kind of straighten these up a little bit just to get them a little bit more in line. And then um, I'm gonna put a title up here and then I'll probably write dreidel, dreidel, dreidel down here in my own handwriting after I get through coloring with this. So let's go ahead and start to color these in with the Copic and make them to where they're the permanent things on there. I'm going to color it in Copic B, which is fresh blue. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just color the whole thing in blue, and then I'll do my decorating. Let's get to that. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And one thing that's really nice about these cards is they can be mass produced pretty easy because it's your own hand. So as fast as you can draw, you can make these cards. Also, as I did with all the sequins, you can add all kinds of things to the card to make it your own. Each card will be different because they are hand-drawn. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And if you're interested in more holiday cards, I will link my playlist on this video. And you can check out the other cards I have for different holidays. Have a great day.